The DMX Partner is a professional DMX recorder and playback device with high performance and advanced capabilities. This device was designed to receive information from any universal DMX controller available on the market today. Any group of scenes that have been pre-programmed into a universal DMX controller can simply be downloaded into the DMX Partner for easy playback. The DMX Partner is also available pre-programmed for system packages. The rear panel connections for DMX Partner include a power switch, which turns the unit on and off. An RS-232 input connector is used to connect to another DMX Partner or to a laptop or PC to transfer or load a data file. Our power supply input. This input is to plug in a 9 volt DC 1000 milliamp power supply which is supplied with the unit. The DMX input. This is to connect a universal DMX controller into for scene uploading. DMX output. This is used to connect to your moving lights or dimmers for chase and show playback of uploaded scenes. This output works in conjunction with your 1 through 8 chase buttons, the strobe button, and the two show buttons. DMX Partner's front overview consists of eight chase buttons. These chase buttons are used to store and playback chases. Up to 99 steps can be stored into each chase button. Chases can be played back in one of two modes, sequential or mixed. A chase will incorporate the same hold and fade time for each step. The two show buttons. The show buttons are used to store and playback shows. Up to 99 steps can be stored into each show button. Shows can be played back in one of two modes, sequential or mixed. However, unlike chases, shows can incorporate different hold and fade times for each step. The joystick. The joystick can be assigned to adjust the pan and tilt channels of the moving lights you are controlling with the partner. The send button. The send button is used to send memory data files to another DMX partner or a PC. The receive button. The receive button is to receive a memory data file from another DMX partner or PC. The LED display displays the chase, show times, and current operation mode. The speed button. The speed button is used to adjust chase or show hold times. When selected, a chase or show hold time can be changed with the up and down buttons. The fade button. The fade button is used to adjust chase or show fade times. When selected, a chase or show fade time can be adjusted with the up-down buttons. The mode button. The mode button is used to select between DMX, audio, or manual mode operations. The blackout button. The blackout button is used to blackout all selected chases and shows. The up-down buttons. These buttons are used to increase and decrease chase and show hold and fade times. They are also used when in record edit mode to increase selected chase or show steps. The delete button. The delete button is used to delete chase and show steps when in record or record edit modes. The record button. The record button is used to record chase and show steps. It is also used to engage record mode. The pan tilt button. This button is used to assign and activate the joystick. The strobe button. This button allows for a strobe effect to be programmed into it for quick access during playback. To connect your DMX partner to a universal DMX controller, connect from the output of your DMX controller and into the input of your DMX partner. Then connect on the output of your DMX partner and into your first moving light in line. To assign the DMX partner's joystick, you must use a universal DMX controller. Here we're using the Alation DMX operator. To enter the pan tilt assign mode, press the pan tilt button, then simultaneously press and hold the record button followed by code 1, 6, 8, 
168. This activates record mode. From your controller, select the fixtures that you wish to assign the joystick to. I'll select fixtures 1, 2, 3, and 4. Next, select the channel that incorporates your pan. Set the value anywhere between 30 and 127. And press the pan tilt button to save. All eight chase LEDs will flash confirming that pan has been stored. Next, set your tilt value anywhere between values 128 and 255. Press the pan tilt button to store. Once again, all eight chase LEDs will flash confirming that the tilt setting has been stored. To exit, press the blackout button. If you buy a system package that incorporates the DMX partner for control, the joystick will automatically be assigned for fixture number one. To record a chase, press and hold down the record button and simultaneously enter code 168168. This activates record mode. Select the chase button, one through eight, that you wish to record into. Once selected, the chase LED will continually flash and the LCD will display the current chase step. From your DMX controller, select the scene that you want included into your first chase step. To record the step, press the record button once. We'll select scene number two from our DMX controller. Once again, press the record button to store it. We'll select scene number three from our controller and store that by pressing the record button. You can manually select your fixtures and set a scene on the fly. By selecting your fixtures, then manually adjusting the position for your lights. Changing the color. Changing the gobo. Then press record to store this step. To exit, Press the blackout button twice. To play back a chase, select the chase button that you wish to play back. The selected chase LED will flash continually and the LCD will display the selected chase number, followed by the sequencing chase steps. Press the speed button to adjust the chase rate using the up-down buttons. Press the fade button if you wish to incorporate a fade time between each chase step. Use the up-down buttons to adjust the fade time. You can also have your chase run to sound by pressing the mode button so the indicator next to the audio text comes on. The controller then becomes sound active. To manually step through chase steps, press the mode button so the small indicator light comes on next to manual. Then use the up-down buttons to scroll through your chase steps. To exit, press the blackout button. To record a show, press and hold down the record button and simultaneously press chase buttons one. 68168 eight, to activate record mode. Select the show button, either number one or two that you want to record to. I'll select show number one. From your DMX controller, select the scene that you want included 
as your first show step. Press the speed button to set your show step hold time. Then use the up down buttons to set your hold time. If you wish to incorporate a fade, press the fade button and use the up down buttons to set your fade time. To store that step, press the record button. We'll select our next scene for our second show step. Press the speed button and use the up down buttons to set our hold time. Press the fade button then the up down buttons to set a hold time. We'll press record to store. We'll select scene number three Press the speed button, use the up down buttons to set our hold time once again. And the fade button to set our fade time. Then press record to store. You can also manually select fixtures and set a scene on the fly and store it into the partner by Selecting the fixtures, which we've selected our four fixtures, and I'll use my controls to set their position, and I'll change their color. I'll then select the speed button, followed by the up-down buttons to set the step hold time, and the fade button to set the step fade time followed by record to store it. To exit, press the blackout button twice. To play back a show, press the show button that you wish to play back. The show will begin to play back immediately with the original set hold and fade times. To have your show run the sound, Press the mode button one time so the small indicator LED comes on next to the audio. The controller then becomes sound active. To manually step through your show steps, press the mode button so that the indicator light comes on next to manual. Then use the up down buttons to scroll through your show steps. To exit, press the blackout button. To record a strobe effect, press the record button, followed by chase buttons 168, 168. This activates record mode. From your DMX controller, select your strobe scene that you wish to store to the strobe button. I've saved it as scene number four on my controller and I'm going to press the scroll button to store it. All eight chase LEDs will flash intermittently indicating that the step was stored. Press the blackout button to exit. To play back your strobe, simply press the strobe button. Having a chase running Then selecting the strobe button will override any existing chase or show that was currently running. To deactivate strobe mode, press the strobe button once again. Your chase or show will then begin to run once again. Press the blackout button to exit. You can manually override the pan tilt positions for selected fixtures when playing back shows and chases. For example, I'll play back chase number one, and as I previously assigned my joystick to the pan tilt channels 
for fixtures one through four, I can now press the pan tilt button and use the joystick to override the chase. However, the colors and gobos will continue to chase. In many cases, this pan tilt feature with the joystick is meant to spotlight a group or a wedding party. If you wish to spotlight someone or a group of people, it is suggested that you set the joystick to one fixture only, in which case you'd have control of the one fixture during this override procedure. The other three fixtures in this case would continue to chase. Pressing the pan tilt button once again will deactivate this mode and your chase will begin to run as it was originally programmed. Press blackout to exit. Chases and shows can be played back in two modes, sequential or mixed. Sequential mode allows for chases and shows to be played back one at a time. So if I select chase number one, show one, and show two, you'll notice that chase one is flashing because it is the only one that is active and running. Show buttons one and two are in standby mode. Show number one is now flashing, indicating that it is now active and running. Once it completes, show two now begins to run, and it would continue to loop in that fashion. If I wish to play back my chases and shows to mix mode, I would select a chase button followed by any other chase or show that I wish to have playback at the same time. Once I release the buttons, you'll notice that all buttons are flashing, indicating that you are now running in mix mode. And as you notice in my display, I previously recorded a moving light show and a four scanner chase. Once you select any of the flashing buttons, it becomes the only active chaser show. To transfer data from a master DMX partner to another DMX partner, we're going to connect from our master unit to the slave unit by using an RS-232 cable, like this one. Connect to the port on the rear in the master unit and connect the other end to the slave unit. After having made your serial lap link cable connection on the rear, we'll now transfer the information that we have programmed into our master unit into our slave unit by doing the following. Press the send button on your master unit followed by code 168168. As a result, the send LED will illuminate and the display will read send. On your slave unit, press the receive button followed by code 168 one, six, eight. As a result, on the slave unit, the receive LED will illuminate and your display will read in. To begin the transfer, press the send button on your master unit. In the LED window of both units, you'll have an animated LED display while the transfer is occurring. The transfer can take up to two minutes. Once the transfer is complete, the display on both units will read end. Press the blackout button on both units to exit.